Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Minecraft with your host Arcus. Uh, we're we're hiding uh, in the dirt ground because it's storming. I'm scared. Uh, I'm 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 just kidding. We're we're in a Prismarine temple. This is just a set. <laughs> Bamboozled yet again. How you guys doing? Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Clever, eh? Clever! You guys thought I was in some kind of dirt thing. But no, guess what? I am in a Prismarine temple. Is it? No, that's not what it's called. An ocean temple. I think that's how it's called? I think so. Um, I came here for the blocks. Uh, <coughs> I accidentally uh, <coughs> killed a whole bunch of sea creatures. Uh, so, sorry for that. They may be extinct. At least the elder ones. We're really the old ones. You know, the three big guys that drop sponges for some reason. Uh, they're dead. <laughs> So, uh, sorry for uh, <clears throat> making y'all go extinct and all, but I got pretty blocks now, <laughs> so y'all can suck it. Uh, so yeah, I, I found a um, Brisbane Temple uh, by design. I didn't stumble upon it, I went looking for one, because I was like, wouldn't it be nice to have those tile, like those tile blocks? Uh, that's always the reason why you don't see them here anymore, because I took them all. Um, <clears throat> maybe they're like, no, no they're not, they're all gone. <laughs> Uh, I drained uh, the big room here, and uh, I didn't drain everything. Uh, yeah, not yet. <laughs> just some some parts. Just have like a, a couple of blocks to experiment with at home. Uh, so yeah, building 101. If uh, if your starter house um, needs a bunch of uh, nice bricks, don't worry. Uh, kill a whole civilization for it. Why not? I mean, they've got laser beams anyway. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, so got some blocks. Uh, let's make our way back. I started uh, mapping. Yeah, the little brown spot that's up. <laughs> the most up expo part. The uh, little brown spot is our house. The uh, rest is just terrain. I think Ellington's village is on there as well. Interesting. Uh, let's uh, let's get out of this place, yo. Because uh, it's scary with all these squid-like people. Oh god. Let's go. I'm sorry for killing your leaders. Uh, boy. <clears throat> uh, this is always tricky. Always tricky, and usually they're in my boats too. Oh, not this time, that's good. Okay, suckers, I'm out of here. Okay, guys, on my way back, uh, still on the map area. Uh, I'm gonna have an awesome map ball, by the way. It will be great, but uh, it's raining. You can't you can't see it, because this is a desert. But as raindrops fall, so do my tears. Uh, <laughs> as some of you may know, uh, I, ha I, ha I had a horse gifted to me by Nebris. His or her name was uh, Buttercup. It was an undead horse. Um, as you guys know, uh, skeletons don't really tell- well. I didn't know it was a boy or a girl. It was just an undead horse. It didn't make any sense, but now it's dead. Uh, never, never leave your horses unattended in the desert, guys. Ever. PSA. Never leave your horses unattended. Uh, it's, it's so sad. How does an undead horse die of a cactus? How is that even... Doesn't make any sense! Um, <laughs> yeah. This is real sad. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, we'll find a new undead horse and call it Buttercup. I mean, they're skeletons. Who's gonna tell the difference? <laughs> right? I'll bamboozle them. That's the word of this episode. Bamboozled. Uh, let's, uh, let's make our way back to the house there. Here. Because, uh, this is just too sad. As sad as walking home without a horse is, uh, we are uh, in Adlington's Valley here, so we got that going for us, which is uh, nice. Look at that, little houses, and he's got a little map here. Uh, let's look at that, because I'm jelly, because <laughs> this one's nicer. Um, so that must be his valley, right? Oh god. Huh. Is that the same? I don't know how maps work. <laughs> uh, this looks nice with this little coastline. This is the big ocean, probably. Um, do you guys know how maps work? So this map uh, is fully zoomed out, and I made it at my house, which is like the brown dot. Uh, the free brown pixels, I suppose. Uh, like uh, the most top part of the map. And I zoomed it out all the way on the spot there. But it didn't zoom out. Is it zoomed out centered? So, like, do maps, like... Are they like, do they automatically like, uh, fit in? If that makes sense, like if I go to this side, because we're right at the border of the map, and then the other, like, where this borders, and I make a map here, and I zoom it all the way out, will that map fit to this one? Is that how it works? Because I'm not sure. 
So please uh, <coughs> advise me. <laughs> Wonderful people of the chat. Because uh, I'm very confused. I, l I looked at the wiki, but I'm still confused. Um, so I don't know. Do I have to like go to the center of the next uh, map point and make the map and zoom it out all the way? Because this map is zoomed out all the way, but it's not at the center. So that's what's confusing me. Very confused. Anyway, uh, we're almost home here. We're home! We're home. We're back in beautiful... Uh... Colorado, Colorado? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Colorado and Arcus don't go together. Well, GG. Uh, I got bones. I got bones. Uh, <clears throat> I got bones from Dire Dwarf. Uh, who, um... Who assured me he did not get them from Michael. But, uh, cannot confirm that. Uh, <clears throat> but to be fair, all the bones I got are stolen from Ernest as well. So, th this is how Minecraft works. <laughs> you have a couple of people who get stuff. The rest just steals it. This is the economic power structure that is Minecraft. We just steal bones. Anyway, uh, here is some more progress, I suppose. Uh, <clears throat> don't, don't, don't mind uh, this here. Let me get my powdered milk pickaxe to break these blocks. Many questions. <laughs> If you're, if you're, uh, if you're, well, if you're wondering how things happen in between episodes, or, I guess, bits in between episodes, uh, it's, it's that I stream on twitch.tv slash mc underscore arcus. Um, so, yeah, if, <laughs> this is how powdered milk happens. Um, I also have bagged milk, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, these are strange names for pickaxes, but then again... Who names the pickaxe or pancakes, obviously, and bagged milk. There you go. Bagged milk and powdered milk, because those are weird concepts. Anyway, um, made this nicer. I have uh, pretty much settled on this design here with the brown here. I like it a lot. Creates uh, some flavor. Not sure about the fence here. And we have now this thing. It started as a column to separate the bone from the clay on this side, right? Because this side is the stair does it here. Uh, and then it became bushy, and then I decided, oh, why not have this arc? Um, I have an organic shape in here. So that's what we're doing now. <laughs> it kind of is a tree. It's not necessarily meant to be a tree, but it's turning out to be a tree, all right. So let's just embrace that. So it's going to look nicer. I think a block is missing there, but uh, it's basically going to curve until the ceiling ends. Well, <clears throat> until it ends at the ceiling, I suppose. It's going to have some leaves to make it look nice. Um, and here we go, here we have some prismarine. Prismarine, uh, acacia as a trim. These colors, they go together, but, uh, there's nothing that really pops out. Like, for the, the bone example, really pops out next to the, um, uh, acacia. Less so with this block. This block is a little washed out too. I like it a lot, but it's a little washed out. So, uh, something up here needs to pop. <laughs> uh, something, yeah. Because, uh, contrast or something. But, uh, I'm liking it. The, uh, prismarine tile. I don't know, how, how do you call this block? What does Minecraft tell it is? Dark prismarine. There you go. Dark prismarine. It goes pretty good with, uh, yeah, spruce and with all the cyan, uh, theme we've been going with. So, <clears throat> it goes pretty well together with our color sets. We have, uh, cream, white, grayish with, uh, some shades of brown and some shades of cyan basically and I think it all looks pretty good together very nice I tried these blocks as a floor too but it doesn't pop as much as the, the carpet does so yeah there you go so this is nice and here is gonna be another uh, set of doors uh, which leads to what I think will be my storage room uh, storage room very important and I want it close to the entrance so that will be here uh, well this door leads to various places <laughs> not sure where it will lead yet but uh, it will lead to various places um yeah liking it a lot liking it a lot not sure about this uh, though uh this is, is a, a balcony i suppose and it's kind of weird because this room is s s s symmetrical kind of but then it's wider on this end because of the thing uh yeah the staircase and here it's two blocks less wide so it's it's a bit strange, uh, but I'm sorting it out. I'm sorting it out. Um, <clears throat> so there you have it. Very good. Uh, let me uh, <clears throat> do some more uh, work on it though. 
because uh, I just need to come to a, a nice conclusion for this room. This is probably the most tricky room of the entire house, just because it's very unique. It has to serve many purposes. It has to be a, an epic entrance. It has to be a way up to the second floor. It has to have like a balcony that's like really curved because of how we built this place. Um, this may be too wide, but uh, I like it though. Nice little walkway. Um, yeah. So yeah, tricky room, but we're getting there and I'm liking what we got so far. Uh, it's going to be a very unique room for sure. Very unique. Okay, guys, uh, we've been we've been working too long on this stupid room. Uh, I'm done with it, so well, mostly done. <laughs> it's time to kind of finish it off, uh, if you will. Uh, so here you go, here you go. Kind of symmetrical, not really. Uh, room with a big tree. Yay! Uh, I like it. It's funky. It's fresh. It's not classical, but it works within Minecraft. I think I like it. Yeah, I actually do like it a lot. So we have a tree. <laughs> It started out as a pole, and then I had a bushes. I'm like, hmm, this looks like a tree now. And here we go. I expanded the tree. Goes diagonally uh, across our new ceiling. I really like this ceiling. Uh, the the bone, the acacia, and the dark oak wood in a, I guess, chessboard pattern almost. Looks very fancy. Um, and we have this kind of asymmetrical approach to it with the staircase and the, I guess, balcony here. Uh, I like it. I like it. I think it's funky. I think it's it's nice to have it not be uh, your classical colonial manor style entrance. Uh, and I think, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> we have some paintings. Uh, the paintings are uh, chosen <laughs> by color, I suppose. Like, uh, all these paintings here, for example, share a lot of uh, green, black, and orange, reddish colors. Mm -hmm. uh, and Pinocchio, of course, our hero. Uh, as always, and Pickface, Pickface McGee, uh, whatever that may be. Yeah, uh, I like it. I hope it, you guys like it too. I was thinking of uh, hanging lanterns from the tree, but I think what I'll do instead uh, is have lanterns hidden in the bushes um, and have lanterns hidden uh, or, or just light sources hidden in the room anyway, because I'm not too keen on these torches. Uh, these torches are my approach to a fancy lighting solution, but uh, I think I'd rather not have them, just because they clutter up the room a bit too much. Uh, so we're gonna try and hide them maybe. Uh, as you can see, it's a, an item frame with a fence in it, on top of a torch. You can even rotate it, very interesting. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the balcony is on this side now. I removed this balcony, because I was like, oh, I just, I just couldn't get it to work with it. And Sometimes if you can't get things to work, but you want them to work, sometimes it's just, it's a hard thing to do, but sometimes you just gotta cut things out, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, and now we have this uh, relatively clean room. It's not yet finished, like here for example, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the doorway here, or like, uh, continue the hallway here. So this might change. It'll definitely change. Uh, we still need a fence here. Um, not sure to do that. See, I don't like having... Oh, this could work, right? But I don't like how it takes up like so much space. Uh, maybe we should do uh, iron bars. Not sure, but it's getting somewhere, and I like it. Uh, like it a lot. <laughs> so the tree, uh, it's hugging the ceiling quite a bit, but I, I feel it still looks like a proper tree. Uh, and I, I especially made it hug the ceiling. Uh, the quote-unquote dead space because uh, one thing I always uh, try to do is have proper vision slash perspective so when you're up here uh, what I find important for the people to see is well the way down and this this beautiful painting of course uh, and see the entrance down here so like we, we the, the tree could have had bushes like it, it could have had a lot more bushes and stuff but then it would block a lot of vision and I tried making sure it didn't uh, let's get rid of this real quick uh, same here, like because it, it hugs the ceiling this much, uh, when you walk along here, you have proper vision of the paintings across the room and the staircase. So I uh, I think I accomplished that <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, and hanging lanterns from the tree here uh, would have really blocked it up, so it would it would have cluttered it too much. Maybe I like my rooms spacious and empty like that, but 
I just feel like proper vision is very important. Uh, so there you go. We can even oh we can even hide hide the uh, uh, light sources behind the paintings. I just realized. Um, I finally got enough bone blocks. <laughs> I've been stealing bone blocks from the server, uh, from people, mm -hmm, from skeleton farms, etc. Uh, but I've been conserving as well. Like these paintings here, like uh, <laughs> they don't have bone blocks behind them because they're expensive to make. Uh, like here's a big one, as you can see. So uh, yeah, room pretty much finished. Uh, there's some uh, detail work to be done, and I'm sure that there like there's a couple of bushes I want to replace or put somewhere else but uh, I really like it um, I might uh, rotate some of the the logs up there so that they're you know to the side because now we see a lot of the underside of the tree uh, but I feel like this is how trees grow in Minecraft anyway they're always upside I feel maybe they're not actually um, but yeah tell me what you think I think it's really nice very unconventional but very unique uh, room uh, we have a uh, Two doors here. Well, I guess three sets of doors. One to the outside. Uh, this will lead to the storage room, uh, which we will probably work on next episode. So I can move all the crap I have outside, <laughs> inside here. Uh, so that's looking very good. Uh, here, this will lead to a hallway, which will lead to these rooms. Uh, and probably make a loop around here so you can go wherever you want to. Uh, and somewhere there's going to be a bathroom. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, for the bathroom, because I, I did get rid of the prison marine up there, because it was just cluttering too much, and uh, I think this is a better approach. Uh, not sure about this underside here, by the way. We might fix it. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, for the, uh, for the bathroom, <laughs> which I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to have a pooper in it. Uh, the bathroom will have uh, probably a, a little trim like this. I realized that the prison marine, the dark prison marine here, these little tiles, uh, they work really well as a trim block so what you can do is make a wall like this look at that cream white with a nice beautiful trim that looks like a bathroom um will it work as a floor maybe maybe who knows maybe we'll have carpet in the bathroom as well uh but definitely for like a shower you can have this as a floor as well and have water spray on your beautiful head uh, <laughs> uh. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I think I think this will work well as a, a bathroom. Uh, I'll try to not use as much bone in other rooms. I'll probably end up using a bunch of it though, because it's a very nice block. Uh, but yeah, for for like the storage room, we're probably not going to use bone just because um, it's expensive to get. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just uh, experimenting with colors here, uh, getting things ready for whenever I start building this. Uh, and the storage room will probably be a little bigger as well than the other rooms just because of all the chests that are going to be in there. Uh, we'll see how well it'll go. Because I'll probably want to have chests in the wall as well, but we have all these windows here. So maybe the storage room will be underground. Who knows? Or not. Who knows? Maybe. Like there's all the walls that are going to be in between here dissecting the rooms. Uh, so we could put the chests in there as well. We'll see. We'll see. I'll come up with something. Uh, but yeah. Boom. Bamboozle. <laughs> that was not the bamboozle. But hey, uh, I like it. Hopefully you guys like it too. Um, I put some dark prismarine in here too, just to kind of make this look like a tiled, overgrown little tile set or something. Just so it's not all grass. I think it's nice. Add some color to it. Something something nice. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, I'll probably put up some more paintings here. Uh, I'll probably end up detailing this room a bit more uh, before I call it finished. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. I'll try hiding some light sources as well. I should get some touch in one of my pickaxes so I can get some uh, glowstone. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, make the light great again. Yay. Uh, now what it does mean for the uh, balcony up there is that it's going to have a bit of an awkward entrance. <laughs> I'll have to work this out. Okay? I'll have to work it out. But imagine that there, there will be a wall here. I feel like that will... That probably happen. Let's just put these here so I can put those down. Uh, yeah. Eh. <laughs> eh. 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 This balcony. It's not. It's not having it. Uh, these these windows there. They were they were pretty pretty much done for anyway because. Uh, yeah. See, I can't I can't cover up this wall, and still have access to the window. It's just. 
these windows are just screwed, man. They're screwed. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Uh, I'll build. Uh, I'll build half of this room. I'll have it have this wall, this nice little gray pink wall. Uh, have that instead for half the room. Um, maybe that will work. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, as always. Much appreciate it. So uh, there you have it. Entrance room, seventy percent finished. <laughs> Well, a lot more progress is made, uh, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Finally, all the bickering and talking about, oh my god, I don't know about the floor type, uh, is finally coming to an end here. Uh, what a uh, what an interesting build this was, this, uh, this room. The rest should be a lot easier, theoretically. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I don't often do interiors, but here you go. I did one. I think it's nice. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me touch up on it a bit more, uh, hide some light sources, and try to come to a finished product uh, this episode. All right, guys, this is the final piece, the final piece to our final room. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, with what it, what it what it has become, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think you guys will like it too. So what we need right now is something. Uh, where? Oh God. Uh, <laughs> I got a lot of sheep, by the way. Look at that. God, these people are loud. These are the loudest people I've ever had in my life, man. Alright. Uh, we need uh, a little pot. We're gonna need a little pot. I got some glowstone, by the way, from the nether for uh, some hair down larding. I also have a uh, milk jug jug now, uh, which is my new silk touch pick. Yay! Um, pretty good. Pretty good. I also got a bunch of quartz. I uh, got a whole bunch of experience from that, as you guys know, because quartz gives you a lot of experience. Uh, so I use that to make uh, milk jug jug, among things. Here is some brick, finally. Man, what does a man have to do to get some pot, man? Jeez. Okay, well here you go. Uh, got that. Then, boom, blue orchids. Why? Because collars. <laughs> so, the front, the top front, the balcony and the two windows up there, they're in trouble, but the rest, is finished. Ta -da 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 -da. Look at that, man. Look at that. I wish I could do a better tune, but um, I think this room is done. We're done. Look at that. No more tor Well, okay, there's two torches, but there uh, <laughs> and there's a block of glowstone as you can kind of see, I guess. But I add someone, maybe. Uh, I can always get rid of it. It doesn't do much, really, because uh, like what I've done. Is uh, I've hidden glowstone behind uh, paintings, um, so that uh, yeah, you don't see it. Also, it's under the carpet. A classic trick, classic. Uh, probably the most classic of hidden lighting uh, under a carpet, and probably also behind a painting. Uh, so yeah, lots of paintings. Looks good. Uh, most of the walls are covered with paintings. I guess this could be a two by two painting. Uh, got banners. Look at that. banners. There's some torches in between. Because, well, so I had the carpet here before. I'll show you. It was horrible. I had carpet here before. I had the tree a little weird, so more spacious. But this is just too weird, man. I just done, done, done look good. Uh, and I had dust under it for lighting. So now, we just got torches and some banners. <laughs> I like the banners. They're blue. They're older sign with a white stripe. And I guess I accidentally made the Scottish flag, so yay. Oi, Scots. Oi. <laughs> um, looks good. A little pot. Uh, I think I want to have a little pot here. This is the tree trunk. The tree that goes that way. Uh, boop. Boop. Beautiful. Um, there you have it. That's it. Entrance room. Done. I guess this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. You can be, you can be picky and have that and be like, eh, eh. It's fine. It's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> Some things in life are just, yeah. you know, you know, you know those people that like uh, uh, build their homes, and there's always this one thing they're like, oh yeah, I'll finish it later. Like one one slightly, you know, un unimportant decorative thing that you know that just didn't hang or just lays around unfinished. This is one of those things. And it's fine, really. It looks fine. Doesn't need nothing. It's fine. Could use some paint, but it's fine. It's good. So there you have it. We have one set of doors, two set of doors. Three set of doors, four set of doors, 
Four, four and a half instead of doors, because it's just one. This leads to uh, the saddest area. <laughs> this is the most saddest of areas. Um, this area is so sad that I almost feel guilty. But, um, yeah, what do you do? What do you do? You get some, you give some, you know? Uh, we'll find a way for this thing to work, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there, it, it has a door. It has a door. It's not pretty. It's like the ugly attic you want to hide, but uh, it, it, it's something. Uh, and I went for iron bars. Iron bars, uh, a gray fence to kind of mimic the gray trim we got here in this little inset bit. It's just the inset bit that has thing. Oh my god, hey, beef! Hey. What's up? Uh, <laughs> so there you have it. There you have it. Hopefully you guys like it. I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and yeah, especially tell me what you think. Um, uh, I'd love, I'd love for you guys to agree with me that this room is done. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, we're gonna work on the the storage room probably next. Um, although I do wanna fix my flag. Accidentally Scottish. Well, that's fine. It may not be the Scottish flag. I'm not sure. I'm not very into the flags. Uh, but there you have it. Done. Finished. Um, one side note. Technical issue. Mm -hmm. uh, because this wall is inset one, it's kind of colliding with this thing here. So, uh, apparently this room is not going to have uh, the same wall. <laughs> Otherwise, this window is going to get weird. Uh, like, like you know, mm -hmm, that place. So, this room is going to have this now. It's fine. It's going to be a pretty room. I don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be pretty. Yeah. Alright, there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Arcus. Signing off. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.